Hello, Paul is the best for UK here, and welcome to today's game of day video. Now we're looking at uh, Acorn Archimedes game a day again. So let's boot up the system. So we're into the uh, graphical user interface GUI. Uh, this is Ricos version three, 1991 Acorn computers. I would love to own a real Acorn Archimedes machine. I do plan on trying to get my uh, PI 400 as a uh, dedicated Acorn Archimedes system. Uh, I need some tips on how to do that to be honest. So I haven't quite worked that out yet But this is running in a Windows emulator. So uh, yeah, today's game is Terramex by Grand Slam Do you remember that? I remember the Spectrum version. I've never played the Acorn Archimedes version So let's load up the game. So we've got some files here I'm gonna guess it's this one with the arrows like left and right towards it. So let's go for that and uh, Yeah, okay, so let's load up Terramex here Okay, so it's loading up nicely. So uh, we wait for the game to load. So this is 1987-1988 Grand Slam Entertainment by Teak, Teak Talk Software. Is that development? I remember that company actually. You know, I don't think it made many games. Okay, so hmm, this is interesting. So I remember the Spectrum version. You had to use a joystick and stuff. But on this, I'm actually uh, controlling this arrow with the mouse. So this is 1987. So quite an old game there. Argus Press Tech Software. I was a big fan of this game back in the day on the Spectrum. I remember on the Spectrum version, all these would load into RAM if you had a 1 to 8K machine. But if you didn't have a 1 to 8K machine, you had to choose one and then it would like sort of do a multi load system if I remember right. The music's very similar to the Spectrum version actually. Yeah, it's very similar indeed actually, considering the, uh, the more advanced sound chip that this system has over the Spectrum. Uh, one to eight, but yeah, let's go for the, my favorite for Tisk for Tisk Smith vacuum cleaner man Okay, that's strange mouse control on it says at the bottom Okay, this is the first time I've ever experienced playing Terramex via a mouse So yeah, basically move this way you, you will follow the mouse That's sort of a strange game mechanic for this game You could probably change it to joystick, but I'm gonna, just gonna go for mouse to make it simple I'm going to see how it is. Now I remember on the Spectrum version you can press T on the keyboard to think. And he will shake his head if he's got no idea. It's quite innovative for the time. If you got stuck in a puzzle or a certain aspect of the game, you can use the T button to think about something. As you can see, he's thinking about the vacuum cleaner now, and there's a vacuum cleaner there. So what you can do is you can pick that up. Now it's a strange idea this, but if you pick up the vacuum... Oh shit. Oh, it's a bit weird with this mouse control. If you pick up... Oh, come on, I'm bouncing all over the place. Oh, I know what's going on. It's because I'm like sort of instantly reacting left to avoid the uh, the thing, but it's making him move. Now, what I was saying, it's very strange having this uh, as a vacuum cleaner, because a vacuum cleaner makes you fly, <laughs> which is kind of cool. Now, to, to stop using an item, you press S and it will drop it into the inventory here. Oh my God, it, it's... Mouse control is a bit crazy on this because even if you want to look at this bit like or down here it's still making the carry to move right let's pick up this acme here i used to think that was a cassette on the spectrum version it looks like a, a video cassette but it doesn't look like a video cassette on this version now i will remember on the commodore 64 version uh it was scrolling it wasn't flip screen which was weird i thought i thought this game is more suited to a flip screen so if you use one and two on the keyboard, you can scroll through all these, see what where it's moving on my items, and if you press S, you can swap it. So that one on the left is what you currently got uh, activated, and that's your sort of like inventory uh, system. So I'll keep going on. It's quite a big quest, actually. This what you the objective for the game. I was a big fan of this, as you can probably tell. Uh, the Spectrum version. He's like, he, when I shake the head like that, it means there's danger ahead or he's getting a bit anxious. It was very innovative for the time, I thought. And uh, what I, I was a big fan of this game back in the day. The Spectrum version was great. This, game, this version isn't too bad. I don't think, I'm hoping you can change it to joystick or keyboard control because playing it with a mouse is a bit weird for a game of this nature. Okay, he doesn't want to jump down there. See, he's not happy about that. I mean, that's a safe jump. 
We're in the clouds at the moment, but I think he's worried about this bit down here. So let's go down here. He's like, no, don't let me. Oh, you fucker, the rain got me anyway. Acid rain there. So yeah, graphics are okay. It's a sort of it's slightly enhanced version of the 8 bits. It's not that much different than the 8 bits, to be honest, except for on the Spectra version, it's got a lot less color, as you would probably expect. I need an umbrella for that bit. Oh, you fuck! So, oh, the umbrella's there, isn't it? I forgot about that. So if you can try and grab that umbrella from on top of that pillar. Oh, come on. Yeah, mace control isn't great. So what I was trying to say earlier is, what you got to do is protect the Earth or whatever planet this is from uh, getting an asteroid smashed into it. And it's weird because you sort of like use like different parts throughout the game to like sort of build like sort of a massive gigantic pinball flipper which flips the uh, asteroid away. It's it's silly really, silly idea, but but it worked. Uh, I was a big fan of it. It was just illogical, but it worked at the time, like the 80s and stuff. Oh, you fuck! So it is nice to see that the game's got music and sound effects simultaneously, which not all games have that. The Spectrum version did as well, but it used the uh, the additional beeper to uh, do the sound effects and the uh, AY chip of the latest Spectrums to do the music. So that was a good thing that the Spectrum could do, as long as it was a 1 to 8 machine. That mouse control is impossible. So you get this flute here, and we use that to charm the snakes. See, he's playing the flute there, see? It looks, a bit, it looks a bit like that blowcat of a lower loud, doesn't it? Uh, good moaning. So, yeah. Okay, so you can go down the well here. And, yeah, proceed down the well. It's full of little innovations, this game is, for the age of the game. And I think it's gonna... You're gonna need some sort of... Uh, I used to call it, thought it was a video cassette, but I don't think it actually is now, come to think about it. That would just like make a bridge using video cassette tape. So yeah, that was a quick look at uh, Terramex on the Acon Archimedes. A good version of the game. Don't like the mouse control. I'm guessing you can change that. I didn't bother changing that in this video. Uh, but you probably can definitely change that to keyboard control or joystick control or whatever. Mouse control is really hard to uh, play the game. So there's the earth getting sm smashed by that asteroid again. And uh, yep, so I'm going to give Terra Mexia Icon Archimedes version um, 8 out of 10. So uh, thank you for watching. See you in tomorrow's video. Good.